Okay. All right. How's it going, everyone? Okay, Matt. Yeah. You, I, I don't have a topic list, please. <laughs> where, where are we starting? I'm so lost. I, guys, this is the weirdest setup ever. I am outside my room because I my computer's making really loud noises, and I wanted a clear audio file without any background noise. Yeah, and I have to get up for work in about, like, seven hours. But it's all fine and dandy because we're going to talk about video games that aren't coming out for a long time. Yeah, um, I know. <laughs> well, actually, they are. They, a lot of them are coming well, out. Well, yeah, I mean, soon. some of them are, you know, but... Yeah, N Nintendo's press conference, they only did, like, stuff that was maybe, like, <laughs> that's, a few months away. That's all they did, which, you know, I guess yeah. some can argue that's good, and then some can argue that's bad. That's, like, start with the tone, because that's what we know best. Mm -hmm. um, so right off the bat, to start with Star Fox Zero, which looks super good. Platinum's making it, Pla or they're helping. Yeah, yeah, like, I think pretty much they're doing, like, the campaign aspects of it. Which is honestly the most important thing, because there is no online multiplayer. So, so does that mean they're doing all of it? Yeah, pretty much. It's all campaign. <laughs> that's, that's what they're doing. <laughs> I, I, I thought they were just, like, uh, brought on to, like, help with the art style, from what I, I don't really remember. Oh, no, uh, from what I heard, the Bayo 2 team, or director at least, is on board for the project. Alright. And, um, like, the game looks really good, because... Like, oh, I mean, not according is, to the internet. Well, Some I mean, people say it looks like GameCube like, I, I graphics. Think, okay, well, a lot of people, if they're saying that, they haven't played a GameCube game. I was actually, um... <laughs> okay, I, I was looking at the gameplay trailer. I was looking at, like, the, you know, Treehouse footage. I'm like, this game, to me, it looks visually very appealing. I don't see what people are talking about. Yeah, um, but I, I, it, they went with the style, and it just looks very, uh... It doesn't look like... It doesn't look like Fallout Next Gen or anything, but it, it does look very clean, and it definitely has, like, this, like, very... Unique shine to it. Yeah, it's which like, I always thought like this, it suited the Star Fox series. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of looks like. Uh, doesn't it kind of look like Wonderful One Hundred and One in a way? Like, it it does, style. but not to the extent of them looking like action figures. Yeah, um, well, obviously, like they chose different <laughs> like designs to go with. Uh, but like just just like the art style is kind of similar. How everything's like shiny and whatnot. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, the game. I don't know, people are, I, I think the reason why it's not, like, the best it could possibly be is because they want, like, the gamepad and the TV to run at 60 frames per second, because the gamepad yeah. does take a lot of resources from the Wii, the, or the Wii That's U. That's true. Um, but, but, I don't know, I think it looks great visually, and the fact that they, I, I'm pretty sure I read on Go to Tenno, they confirmed that, um, the gyro controller is an option, it's not a, um, necessity, the so you can... Gyro controls are optional, yes. Yeah. And there is a co-op mode that you can play with your buddy David if you want, or he can like man the, he, like you can fly around and David could like just man the laser turret and shoot everything. So I can get up close to an enemy and he could just be a total dick and just not aim at the <laughs> boss or whatever. Yeah, he could if he wanted to. Uh, but um, I, I think something we need to stay on is that um, like this is the start. This is one of the Star Fox games we got in a long time, and it's very interesting that they're going back to like the Nintendo 64 like timeline period like that crystal isn't in this panther isn't going to be in it like all the new characters like dinosaur planet isn't going to be in it it's funny that um so star fox 64 was technically like a semi reboot from the original star fox and star fox 2 was canceled and then star fox yeah. adventures came out then assault came out and i, I really really liked assault a lot and then mm -hmm. the command came out and no one really dug it um some did but the majority were unsatisfied because like like you said it's it's just it's feel like fan fiction or some story wait, 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 at what, least. What, oh command yeah command oh yeah yeah um there's some people that like that i just i just couldn't get into the story I, aspects I, neither could i i didn't like the controls on the ds uh, um it was you funky. really hurt me fox i'll never forgive you <laughs> and then everyone just calls it crystal you're a whore and she like <laughs> cries about it it's like... and then there's like there's like so many alternate endings of that game that just make me laugh like crystal goes and joins star wolf and like starts dating panther and it's weird. Yeah. And like Slippy and some weird frog lady retire together. <laughs> oh, and Fox and Falco go become F Zero racers. That's one of the endings. Yeah, that is one of the endings. <laughs> oh god. Um <clears throat> But aside that... from that, like it's I was gonna get to my point that and after that, the next game that wasn't they think like, you know, that was the last game until Star Fox sixty four three D. And then mm -hmm. 64 3D came, like, you know, did pretty well. And now they're just going back to Star Fox 64, but also adding an element from Star Fox 2. Honestly, I, I think the reason that this timeline period was chosen was because Miyamoto's working on it, and I think he just wanted to work with something that he was more familiar with. 
Yeah. So he just wanted to like, um, just like bring back the '64 time period again. I guess there is more to explore there. I, I don't know if it's like another retelling or, because Andros was defeated at the end of '64. Is this like? Is this, like, before you defeat Andros, or...? I have no idea. I really yeah. don't want them... I mean, if this game does well, which I really hope it does, um, I really don't want them to write off Crystal, because I think she was she she was a good character for the series. A lot of people... like I like her. <laughs> not, not as much as the people over at crystalarchive.com, but <laughs> I do like her as a character. Uh, but, yeah, it is kind of sad that, like, uh, just to see, like... I, I know you hate them, but Panther and Crystal and just a whole bunch of other new, uh, latest characters just aren't in Did it. I ever say I hated him? Uh, you, I think you just said that you didn't like, like, he was pretty much just a stereotype, like how he's kind of like a womanizer and he's just like, oh, yes, oh, you're so pretty, oh. <laughs> well, I mean, that was his character, he's just like, you know. The, the, like, he shows up Crystal. and he just hits on Crystal and yeah. then he, like, he, like, gives off, he, like, gives away information because he likes Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> So it's it's kind of funny, um, but, uh, but like moving on, I guess we can get back to like um. Oh wait, I, I want to mention this. Even though like, even though they said there wasn't going to be like um online multiplayer, they I think I think like, I read something on Go Nintendo that they're thinking about including like a one on one mode or something. Yeah, because the, the game's not coming out till like holiday. It still has like at least yeah. like five months. Of so there is time to do something like that. Like, yeah, who knows? When I get like something similar to like Pikmin 3's bingo battle, I really enjoyed it. But they couldn't make Pikmin 3 online because uh, just to track all those little Pikmin with yeah. an online environment would be a pain in the ass. <laughs> but with Star Fox, it'd definitely be a lot easier if you only had to like uh, keep track of like two or four. I, I, I believe even Star Fox Command had online play. Um, I don't think it was received I, well, but I think it did. I don't know if it, like, I never played it. I can just <laughs> imagine, like, our wings lagging around everywhere, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not going to judge it until I, like, see it for myself. But, like, one thing, aside from Star Fox, though, the Direct, it wasn't bad, or the, you know, digital event wasn't bad. It's Are just you sure? that they... I, initially, initially, I was um, a little irked. I felt like I, I, I do remember. I can quote you, and you said Nintendo's Direct was, and I quote, "You said pathetic." I did say that, <laughs> um, but that was like right after I was done watching it, and you know, I thought, you know, a few, you know, after a while, I was thinking about it, you know, um, when I was gonna be picking up this holiday, and I, I came to the conclusion, like, you know, hey, I'm, st I'm still getting a lot of games on my Wii U and 3DS. I mean. Mm -hmm. I was upset because not upset. I mean, I was disappointed because um, I, I wanted to see more stuff. I wanted more details about the game, and I wanted more details about possibly a new um, continuation or mainstream Metroid. Um, Federation um, for what was it? Was it called Federation? Oh, are we going to Federation now? No, I'm just saying as a reference. Like, um, oh. a lot of people were up in arms about that game, um, which I can understand why. But there's people who want it to be like you know canceled or you know. They're saying it's a stab in the back to, you know, fans. Oh, and yeah. but, but before we started this podcast, I posted on Josh's wall. Like, I posted in that petition, and I was like, Josh, go join your people. <laughs> what do you have to say to it? He just liked it. <laughs> he didn't say anything. Uh, yeah, but my God, like, I, the game, uh, let's just jump into Federation for now since we're on that topic. Yeah. Um, that game's not getting a lot of good feedback at all. Oh, definitely like, not. Not because it, not even because it looks poorly designed or just looks bad. It's just that it's not Samus and it's like a chibi Metroid, which we were talking yeah. about last night. Chibi style and Metroid are two things I never would have thought to like you know mash up. It is yeah, a little I, jarring I to look at. And and the like the the way they reveal this game is like. They reveal it at the Nintendo World Championships. Like, they reveal, like, a sports game. Yeah. And, like, people like people are watching that, and it's like, that kind of looks like a, the Metroid Prime hub, but there's no way this is Metroid, right? <laughs> and then the Direct comes out, and everyone just starts flipping out. We're like, they turned Metroid into a soccer game. The thing is, though, it's not even a soccer game. That's the multiplayer aspect. Like, the, the, main, the main, like, story elements are just, like, you know, Metroid Prime shooting. That's what uh -huh. it is. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I was actually, I was listening to the Nintendo Treehouse, and they brought on, like, the director of the game, and he was talking about how, like, he, he doesn't like in-game tutorials that much, so he made, like, a fun 
Metroid like mini game you could play in there, which was the blast ball uh, soccer like game yeah. they had in there. So he made that for people to get used to the controls, so they could go in and do like the mission mode. But <laughs> they just revealed this game in like the worst way possible. If you ask me, they did. They should have. Yeah. They should have just said Metroid Federation Force as a reveal for the um, um Nintendo 2015 Championships. Uh, it would have been more direct. It would have been, you know, more specific as to what it was. Because, mm-hmm. um, I, I, I have a friend of mine who was up in arms about it. They made a fucking Metroid soccer game! This is bullshit! <laughs> and I was, I, had to, I was talking to him, like, hey, man, okay, I was being actually kind of like, I was being a little bit rude. Because I got sick of, like, all the bitching. But I got, I got to the point where I'm like, hey, um, you're not entitled to anything. It's their game. They can make what they want. Mm-hmm. In, in next level games... They are a very competent developer. They made the Punch Out reboot. They they Luigi's Mansion Two was one of my favorite games on the 3DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, they they have plenty to go on. And I fully trust them to make a good game. Mhm. So I, I think we'll just talk about like what we thought of it instead of other people's opinions. Like I, yeah. I, I the first time I saw that trailer, I, I was like a little iffy about it. But then I thought about it. And I'm like, you know what? I always, I, I always did want to know more about like the Metroid lore and like the Federation. Is something we haven't really explored much. I think like we probably explored it most in like Metroid Prime Three. Yeah. Where like, like the the Federation hires like bounty hunters to help take down the pirates or something. And I I always wanted them to do something with like with a more online aspect, and we finally got it. It's I didn't really want this chibi style, but I am looking forward to it. Mainly the mission mode, and I hear like Samus and Metroids are still going to be in the game, but I don't know. Really, I didn't hear style. that. Yeah, I read about it on Go Nintendo, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, I, I just I always wanted a game that uh, just uh, just uh, starred the Federation a bit more. Uh, what about you? What do you think of the game? I honestly, um, I kind of like originally, like I said, I was like kind of like you know during the digital event, I was a little you know bummed out of everything. So I saw that mm-hmm. pop up, and this when I when I didn't see Samus, and I went in wanting Metroid Prime Four or a mainstream <laughs> Metroid. I was like, ah, oh. I wasn't like disregarding. I was just watching it, like, man, I wish we weren't getting this. But later on, after th- here, here's what I want to talk about though, real quick. But um, the thing about the di- digital event, they just show trailer, boom, 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 which you know you can argue, good, just get to the, you know the meat of things. But they didn't explain that next level next level games they were making. They didn't explain that oh, yeah, Samus they- was going to be in it. Yeah, they were mm. rushing through it, it felt like. I didn't even talk about how, like, Platinum was helping them with the Star Fox. Why is, like, Platinum's a major... Well, I mean, it's getting there. It's becoming a pretty well-known studio. Um, and the developer diaries, which were fine. I would have preferred if they were just uploaded as separate videos on the YouTube channel, not a part of that digital event. Um, I enjoyed them. I mean, I, did enjoy, I, I enjoyed them, too, but from, like, you know, the um, casual viewer who just wants to see the games... They, it was probably as tedious as, like, you know, the business talk at, like, the other conferences. I don't know. Like, that, that, that cute story they had with the Yoshi Woolly World and how, like, that lady, like, how they got the inspiration for the design for Yoshi's, like, she just went home one day and she made, like, some yarn Yoshi's and brought them into work and everyone fell in love with them and they're like, this is what we're doing. We're going to do this. You're a champion. And they lift her up in the air and she ascended <laughs> to heaven and became a god. Like, it was pretty cool, man. Uh, the only one I found interesting was, like, when, um, Miyamoto was, um, talking about how he designed the original Mario Brothers levels, like, on the, like, on the, um, spreadsheet oh, yeah, they, paper and stuff. Yeah, it was, that was pretty cool. I, I think it's the first time we ever saw those, like, spreadsheets and how Mario Bros. was made. I mean, like, overall, like, we, we got release dates for all the games. We got a release date for Xenoblade Chronicles X, which I'm really excited for. Um, yeah. St- we, we, we even got, it. we got to see some of the English dub. Yeah, we did, finally, jeez. Um, <laughs> sounds pretty okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> pretty good, yeah. Um, the tone of voice acting is, is pretty all right for the most part. Um, it's better than other M. <laughs> Man, <laughs> the baby, <laughs> the bad B. Dude, like me and my buddy were talking at work. We're like, you know, there's a bit of good Metroid game since like 2007. And I'm like, y- yeah, <laughs> yeah, there, there really hasn't has there. <laughs> Um, but other than that, like, the me- new Metroid game I'm probably going to be getting. I, I was originally irked, but, you know, I thought about it. I trust the developer. It looks fun. Um, I was, I, I, here's another game I was kind of off-put, but I thought about it. Um, the, um, Triforce Heroes game from New Zelda. 
Originally, I thought, like, oh, it's four swords with three people. And I'm like, I don't really want a Zelda game. It looks like to be in the style of um, uh, Link Between Two Worlds. But then, again, after digital event, I thought about it. You know, that's probably really fun in multiplayer. That's going to be a lot of fun in co-op. Yeah, and they did something that they don't usually do, is they made a... They added online co-op. Yeah, I read that. Um, I don't know, like, weren't they against putting, like, voice chat in this, though? Or... Well, yeah, they, they just decided against voice chat, and they had, like, those little icons you could click at the bottom, like, to say, like, do the totem pole, or over here and stuff. And, like, you, you can have, like, Link come out with pom-poms. You know, I noticed that there's, like, a lot of Link kind of, like, cross-dressing in that game. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you can dress as Zelda, and then, like, one of your icons is you can, like, have Link pop up with pom-poms, and I'm like... This is like this is getting pretty feminine for uh, like it, a hero, it, a, a, a man time. hero, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a manly hero who wears a dress and cheers with the pom poms. Yeah, the thing about the with the Wind Waker style, though, I love the Wind Waker style. I just wish it wasn't like just exclusive to handhelds nowadays. I really that's want, not like... really Wind Waker style. Is it? That's just well, I mean, it was... is it is the Toon Link's design. No, it's it's more of a link, uh, link to the what is what? What the hell was it? A link to, to the, the two worlds. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a link between two worlds. No, or, I know it's, it looks, it's Wind Waker that, Link. No, it's not Wind Waker. Yes, look it, it is. Again. No, look at it again. It's not Wind Waker. Okay, fine. I'll go look at it again right now. Yeah, you're gonna be fucking wrong. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Yes, you Just are. type in a link between two worlds and look up Link Wind Waker, and it's completely different. Try Force Heroes. Okay, yeah, it looks just like the fucking Wind Waker style. No, it that's, doesn't. That's totally Toon Link. No, type in a link between two worlds. Okay, fine. And then type in Wind Waker. <laughs> I can't believe we're arguing about this on the fucking recording. No, they'll love it. These are two different styles, you idiot! <laughs> These are t Why are you arguing with me when I'm just- I'm right? <laughs> are you doing this on purpose? What? There are two different styles. They are two different styles. That's what I said. <laughs> I was saying they are two different styles. Wait, wait, you... <laughs> I thought you were saying they were the same style. No, like I meant in the same style as overhead view. I, like a top-down view. I, I could have sworn you were saying, like, this is Wind Waker Link you're playing as in uh, uh, the, the latest Zelda no! game. No! <laughs> That's totally what you said. That's I can't not what I said. Well, what are we recordings? So we'll look back. Let's just get back yeah, on fucking topic. whatever, man. Um, yeah. We're... Uh, well, I, uh, Anyways, obviously... moving on. Um, yeah. That looks... Triforce Heroes looks super fun in co-op. Um, and they were able to make it so quickly because they just used the same engine as a link between two worlds. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's kind of bummed out we didn't at least get like a trailer from New Zelda on Wii U. I mean, they said we weren't going to get it, so I wasn't surprised. I was just hoping they'd be like, hey, I got you. Just wait till next year. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. Then they, like, you know, just, like, farted out a new Mario Tennis I'm gonna buy super hard. <laughs> that um, came out of nowhere. Yeah. They gave, they gave it, like, you know... Um, that didn't even, like, have a proper trailer. They just showed gameplay. They did. And, um... And I was arguing, why did they make them... Why did they give them, like, the big mushroom? I don't understand how it's gonna beffin anybody. And you're like, they don't have to move when they go to hit the ball. Yeah, didn't you see that? <laughs> like, Peach just literally like, stretched her arm over and she hit the ball. Um, I like the title is interesting though. Ultra Smash. Uh, I wonder what that means. Is it gonna be like a Smash Bros. crossover? I hope it's a super violent tennis game. <laughs> Giga Bowser shows up. <laughs> I want like. DK. There's gonna be Smash Balls in it. I want like like fucking like like Hajime no Ippo esque punches from Donkey Kong hitting the tennis ball the other court. It's never gonna happen. Dreams are too well. I, I don't really know what to say about that game except that it's like another Mario Tennis game. That's what it is. It's they, Mario Tennis. I mean, they didn't show off anything new in it. They, they didn't, and I'm not saying you know I'm not arguing against that. I'm just saying Mario Power Tennis on the GameCube is like one of my like, favorite you know arcade esque sports kind of games. So mm -hmm. I'll definitely get a sequel. Honestly, I would have liked the, another Mario like you know baseball game, but uh, you know what can you do? Um... Uh, Fatal Frame Five. I was kind of bummed out they didn't show on the um, uh, digital event, but you uh, but they did show gameplay on the Treehouse. Yeah, it which looks really good. Yeah, it does Spooky. look really good. Um, it looks like it actually has one of the best ways to integrate, you know, the um, gamepad. 
Well, like, you know, using using it to take pictures and stuff. <laughs> you take selfies. <laughs> you don't take selfies to take yeah. pictures of spooky I, ghosts. Actually, there's three playable characters in that game, and I know, yeah. uh... I, I, I don't know if that also includes Ayane, because for whatever reason, they made Ayane playable in that. Really? Ninja I yeah, don't... they... It's it's really weird. Like apparently her gameplay is supposed to be like you hide from ghosts <laughs> with your ninja skills. I'm just like. Are you sure right. it's Ayani from from Dead or Alive? I swear to God, Google Ayani Ayani Fatal Frame, you'll find it. Mm. I don't hear you typing. You know, oh, whoa, holy shit! What? I, told you. I just saw the girl on like the um like the. You know, white sleeves, brown shirt, and like in the mail on all the trails I've seen. I wasn't, I wasn't following the game purposely because um, I wanted to keep it a surprise. Yeah. But I, that's straight up Ionic from Dead or Alive. That's really weird. I know. And they still got her titties hanging out there. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, they they specifically said that they were going to keep like her, uh, they're gonna keep her sexy sexy appearance and game whatever. Yeah. Uh, like, what is she even doing here? I don't know. Was she training and then like you know? Oh fuck! What all these these ghosts are pretty. She went there for like some like I don't know. I think like the ninja clan told her to go there. I don't remember. <laughs> go to the spooky was... ass house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and like she gets hurt or something, so she can't like just fight all the ghosts. She has to like sneak around. You know, I'd be impressive if you punched a ghost and actually did anything. Uh, <laughs> it's um, really weird. And like I'm, I think it's so great that Nintendo like people are still finding out Nintendo like pretty much partially owns that franchise that's why it's the, the most pre like you know recent um installments have only been on the Nintendo system yeah um mm. super mario maker i mean we, we do we really need to talk about it because nintendo's like covering it up like covers I, I the game so much we should talk about it because they showed so much new stuff yeah they <laughs> did um but fuck dude they covered they they just talked about so much the A3. I was already sold on it but they just kept on going and going. Mm -hmm. I mean I was glad that I you know it was cool hearing they renamed it Super Mario Maker which has a better ring to it. Um, yeah, and it definitely looks a lot more super than last year when they showed it when it only had like a few things you could put on the board. <laughs> yeah. Um I I love the fact they included like you know pretty much almost every like every sprite based Mario style even like you know new Super Mario Brothers. Not Super Mario Bros 2. <laughs> Yeah, but shut you up. You can't use Wart. <laughs> the most memorable Mario villain. <laughs> he was just a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I hear people coming in the comments. Oh, actually, it was called Doki Doki Panic in Japan originally. Yeah. No, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one's gonna comment that. No one's even gonna comment on this video. Yeah, yeah I bet you someone will not because you said that. Because I will. <laughs> no. Oh God damn it! I forgot. No, I'll just block you. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I love that they revealed that whatever, like, I don't know if it's every amiibo so far for Smash, but if you put an amiibo on the gamepad, like, a little sprite of them will appear in the game, and they'll, like, take Mario's place to the play through the game. Yeah, I love the fact that you can, like, just play as a Wii Fit trainer, and she actually <laughs> talks. <laughs> She's, like, up, down, like, while you're, like, <laughs> jumping. It's just that, okay, they showed the 8-bit versions, fine and dandy. I'm curious, mm -hmm. though, if they're going to make Mario Bros. 3 World and new Super Mario Brothers like, you know, models for them. No, I don't think so. That'd, that'd be too take, good. That'd take too much work. That would? Yeah. I mean... Uh, there, there's one thing I saw with the Link, uh, with the Link skin. You can, you can literally just, like, you can just hold up and Link will pull out the Triforce. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, so something else that people would like, um... You actually, you don't need an amiibo to, like, play as those guys. If someone makes a course, and if they make it using, like, the Link amiibo, uh, then you can play through that course, and if you get the mushroom that changes you into Link, then you get to be Link in that level. That's cool. So, uh, same thing for, like, the 30th anniversary Mario amiibo they're releasing. Like, you can be Big Mario, as long as you, like, play a level that, uh, use that, that, that their amiibo was used to make. I hope we get. I hope. I hope I'm able to get all the amiibo. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> Probably not. You um, have to be willing to take a life if you want all the amiibo, <laughs> and you're weak. I got Ness, damn it! I'm. I'm good. I, yeah. I well, got him too for like thirty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it sucked. I bet. I would never. You know, it ever... sucked even more. Like what? I went to GameStop. Like I went to GameStop at like eight a.m. and I was like. Oh hey, you got a Splatoon three pack? And he's like, Yeah, I also got Ness. I'm like, 
Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one expected it. Uh, 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 he didn't have any Lucina ramen, though. Which was weird. Um... Then, then they, they, there was like really no coverage of Chibi Robo either on the um, digital event. I never. Did they throw a trailer? Did they? Did show they? A I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Um, yeah. Chibi, Chibi Robo, list. like, like, um, I never played the GameCube original, but I've always wanted to. Mm-hmm. Just because, like, the you know the concept of it's really cute, and then it seems like um, almost every single game in the series is always kind of. Um, a different genre. They don't ever stick with like the original formula. Like this one's like a two D side scroll where you like you know, you ricochet your um your like, little plug outlet thing all over yeah. the place. Um, it looks pretty good. Uh, a lot of people are disappointed that they didn't uh, stick with the original um uh, Chibi Robo for the GameCube. Like when you're just like plugging in to standing things to like recharge your your uh your power meter and then like doing daily chores around the house yeah in this big 3d environment i i I have no idea how the game plays i'm just i'm going off what i've heard (laughs) yeah i mean it's something always i I heard like the concept was like um you're trying to get like like or something like the family they don't get along yeah it's like your job to like you know do things around the house to make the family like each other more that's what he's doing yeah i think that's what the concept was I don't know if that would, like, fix the family's problems. I'd be, like, spooked out if, like, all the chores were done when <laughs> like I came These little robots home. on the ground, like, mopping, like, hey. <laughs> it's like, honey, did you do this? And he's like, no, I, I didn't. It's like, was it the daughter? No, she hates us. She wouldn't clean anything if we held a gun to her head. It's like, <laughs> what, what's happening? <laughs> uh, all right, let's um, get into a dark place. Yeah. And then, um, I just want to cover, um, well, there's actually a lot more, um, well, not a lot more for Nintendo, but... I wanted to talk about um, Mario and Sonic 2016, the Rio Olympic Games, only because... The crossover you love. <sighs> those games should be the best games ever, but they just aren't. Best, <laughs> like, like, this new one looks interesting, interesting to me, only because it has soccer and rugby. Um, soccer, because I, I have hope that it may be similar to Mario Strikers. Probably not, but... And it's then not. rugby... You, have and you then, seen Mario Strikers? I guess I've seen Mario Strikers. That's why I'm saying I'm hoping it's like Mario Strikers. I, I don't like... think they're gonna click, kick the ball into the air and become Thunder Gods and kick it down, man. <laughs> and then um, uh, rugby, which I think is funny because rugby is actually a pretty brutal sport. Um, I just want to see Knuckles like tackle like fucking like like Peach or Toad super hard. <laughs> Wait, uh, did you see that image I showed you? That sticks was in. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the um, Olympics. yeah, it's 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 fucking whatever. I don't care. Are I find it weird it? though because they're trying to differentiate the 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 um that like the mainstream series and the Sonic Boom franchise as two different like you know series. It just fucking slap sticks in there. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, know. honestly, it's whatever. It's a spinoff. I'm not even gonna yeah. get that. I'm probably one of. I, I, I might. I don't know. I don't want to say I'm not gonna get it. I might get it. I'm actually more interested in Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. Because the developers seem to um, be taking in a lot of um, you know constructive criticism, and they're listening to like you know what fans want. Like you know, from what I read, um, they're cutting the level size by forty percent, so it's not as nearly as big to explore and run around in. Because the first one that issue where there's a lot of collecting, which also reminds me, um, collecting is not a necessity anymore in the game. You can just like run through the level and um, finish the, the level that way. That's good. Um, they're also making it faster paced from what I heard. They're, they're, they've actually been playing through the Genesis and Rush games for, um, level design inspiration. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I mean... Did they, like, only have a week to make the first game? They, um, I, I honestly have no idea. I, I don't know how they could have... Not to sound, like, you know, rude or anything, but... I don't know how they could have played that game and thought it was fun. Um... <laughs> It was really tedious. I, the collecting was really long. It wasn't fast paced. It was all it was, right. Like, it, was, that's the best it wasn't thing broken or glitchy or anything. It was all right, but like, it's just that it was really repetitive and it just seemed to drag on for a while. And its and its bonus for collecting everything was stupid. Um, yeah, your, your reward for one hundred percenting that game was they do the robot. Yeah. Um. But I don't know. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Um. It looks like they're trying to make it an overall better game. Like even Sega when they originally announced the game. Like, 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 all, the, like, the tags and hashtags. Oh, yeah, the tag they had yeah, at the bottom the, was like, it's gonna be good this time, we swear. Yeah, exactly. That's a long tag. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll see. I mean, I, I know Sega's doing a lot of, like, internal reconstruction within their, like, their, um, company. Um, 
I think like the only game that was a moderate success last year from like the financial reports was like Alien Isolation, which sold. I think it's I think it's past two million copies now, which I'm happy about. Well, no, uh, there are other games that do super well are Sonic Jump and Sonic Dash. Yeah, all their mobile games. Their mobile games actually do very very well. I know. Yeah, I, I think they're just talking about on Facebook how like Sonic Dash broke over. Like a million hundred, downloads or something? Yeah, a hundred million know. or something like that. A hundred million, really? Was that high? Um, I think so. It was a pretty damn... I mean, maybe not... Okay, you know what? Let me, let me double check this. I don't want to sound like an asshole. Uh... Whatever. Um, uh, and then they did the crossovers with Angry Birds, and you didn't like Yeah, a hundred million downloads. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is a lot. Well, I, I mean, I guess if it's free... Yeah. People would download it. Damn, and, that's a lot of downloads. It's got Sonic in the name. Yeah. <laughs> Well, everyone has a mobile phone, pretty much, except me. Yeah, even I got one recently. I looked at mm -hmm. Sonic Dash, and I was going to download it, but that stupid Anchor Bird was on the icon. I'm like, no. <laughs> no way in hell. <laughs> um, <coughs> but then, like, you know, the two Fire Emblem games we're not getting in America until next year. Are uh, the Shin Megami Fire Emblem crossover, which... Oh, boy. Is, um... Oh, God, dude, I'm going to I'm gonna buy that game day one. I, I am, but, but like... it's so... I fucking anime i know dude like <laughs> my god like i watched the I, I finally got around to watching the gameplay of it and just like oh like the the arena you fight in like when you meet a monster i'm like what is this you're like going to dance stage and like yeah it's like it, you can see like like how like uh uh like tvs of your characters in the background and like these really weird like kawaii outfits and they're all like cutesy and kind of like so anime badass looking <laughs> I don't know how to define it. It's just so anime. It's like, and I like how um, the Fire Emblem characters are made to be main characters, essentially their persona or their stands. That like they're really similar to like something like that. You know. Can we talk about how Chrome doesn't really look like Chrome? Can we talk about how none of the Fire Emblem characters look initially? Like like they look, I, they don't look anything like their original <laughs> designs, which I think is what they're trying to go for. Obviously, um, I, I want to see what. I really hope they make, like, like even buffer. <laughs> and, like, just, like, a monstrous-looking dude. Um, honestly, the guy from the, from the initial concept art, from when they showed their um, direct a few months back, I thought that was Marth, but it's it's totally not. It's Chrome. No, 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 I mean, like, one of the main, like, people you play as, like, in the game. Oh, who, the, 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 the kid? Yeah. That, like, I thought, has I thought, Chrome as, as his yeah, persona? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But you know what? To be honest, it was because he was skinny, and had blue hair. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> he looks more like Chrome when he's like when he's got his outfit on. Yeah, he really does. Mhm. Mm I I mean I, I'm more like Marth in my opinion. I the, I, I, I meant Marth. Murph. Yeah. Um, and then the Fire Emblem Fates, which again another reason why you have to I listen was, to English dub. I was I was really turned off from the digital event because they didn't explain anything. This game is getting two separate SKUs. It's getting two different versions, like Pokemon. And I want to know why. Like, is it because one version has one story scenario and the other one has another scenario? Yep. Okay, is that it? Because, um... I, I hear, um, I hear one, one version is harder than the other. <laughs> I mean, and then there's going to be, like, like a... Then, then there's going to be a third scenario that's going to be DLC. I mean, okay, look. I love Fire Emblem. They come in few and far between, and, and like, you know, in America anyways. Um, well, I mean, yeah, no, no, to be fair, we, we, we've gotten almost every one that's come out of Japan since, like, you know, um, the second GBA game. Yeah. But, I'll buy both of them, no problem, I love Fire Emblem, but I want to know why they chose this, this, this route of releasing the game. Um, uh, it's like, I, they didn't, like, again, like, I'll say it again, they need, they, next year or next direct, they need more clear. they need to clarify more. Like, what's going on? Wait, now that I think about it. Uh, I, I remember they were showing off gameplay, and in the game, there's, like, a cutscene where you, like, uh, you get to choose which side you want to go to, and I guess you don't really get to make the choice, it just depends on what version of the game you play, and your character makes the choice to go to that side. I mean, when you say it that way, it just seems like, to me, it could have been one or the other that you choose at the start of the game, mm -hmm. unless the game is just that big. Which you know maybe it could be I I highly doubt it but I don't know. yeah it's 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 whatever it, it's kind of confusing like I I I I wish they just made it like one big disc you could buy instead yeah, of just like yeah. paying retail price twice but whatever 
And then you gotta play like Repel Price a third time when the DLC comes out. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, well, I hear if you get, like, like, like in Japan, I think it's like if you get both versions, you get like the third scenario for free, oh, you which do? you know, yeah, which I, I I think it's what I read. Um, so maybe that'd be the same case for America. Well, well, who knows? We'll find out. Maybe there'll be a bundle or something. Yeah, I I hear this is like the biggest Fire Emblem game they've ever made. So I'm I'm sure the campaigns themselves are like longer than Awakening. At least I'd hope they are. At least in in each like in each individual one, like when you choose a side. I'm sure that side's entire arc is longer than Awakenings. So at least I would want to hope so. I mean, I know ever since Awakening was such a major major success, um, they've probably gotten a bigger I don't budget, know about like you're saying. Success. What? I don't know about major success. It I think successful. it was a major success. Like the it game didn't sell nearly as much as you're thinking. It didn't get a hundred million downloads. It sold. <laughs> it sold over a million copies. Uh, that's that's good that's for a Fire Emblem game. Yeah. Like they initially needed, like um, two hundred fifty thousand sales, and they got um, they got that from America. <laughs> wow. Um, so it, worldwide, it did very well. Um, one of the more successful installments in the series. So and the fact that you know Japan, like you know all the Famitsu polls, like it's like number one or you know two or some, it's really it's, it's high up there. Um, mm -hmm. That could like you know that, that that speaks for a lot of things. I mean, I know Splatoon was like you know number six or something, and it like sold over 250,000 copies like the first week which is actually really impressive for like you know it's just Japan. So well. it's still kind of hard to find in Japan yeah I had I had to turn down a guy at work who came in the bite today I'm like yo we, we we sold out the other day sorry Nintendo only gave us three yeah they did <laughs> that's Nintendo, not even a joke they, they literally only gave you three they only gave me three copies <laughs> because Nintendo is very keen on giving the amount they think we will sell like uh -huh. it's they, I have two copies of um Awakening at work <laughs> It's it's ridiculous. I know. Well, Nintendo's. I I told you this before, but Nintendo has a history of just like uh, limiting the the amount they put out so they can like create demand for products essentially. And they need to stop that, especially with Amiibo. Like, okay, you especially know what? To be fair, with Amiibo. To be fair, yeah. I don't know how their manufacturing works with Amiibo. Um, I think they're still new to that. You know, kind of marketing or you know sales figures, or whatever. For like you know that that, mm -hmm. that media. Not media, but you know I, what I, I think, mean. I uh, think Reggie originally said something like, you know, we're trying to keep up with the Amiibo shortages, so we started by doubling, and now we're tripling our supplies. And I'm like, they started at one, then they made two, and now they're making six. <laughs> 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 Which I really hope they change, because I really want Dark Pen and Palutena. I don't want to have to... Like, okay, it was so embarrassing. All right, when I got my Pikachu 3DS XL like, a few years ago... Baby, I am a shut up. I'm, I was okay. I'm a grown ass man at Target at seven in the morning, fighting over a Pikachu. Three, yeah, a Pikachu yeah. Okay, 3DS. so initially, um, about, okay, I started waiting outside the door because you know it was about to open, mm -hmm. and uh, all these fucking dudes just get out of their cars, and just walk and stand behind me, like, oh, hey, what's up? They're like Pikachu. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of turned away and didn't talk to them, and um. We're, you know, you know, the guys come up to open, up the door, I'm like, hey guys, um, we're all adults here, can we just, you know, not, like, run to the video game section? And they're like, yeah, whatever. So, um, guy opens the door, immediately, this, this, this like, neckbeard looking dude just takes off, like, flopping around. I'm like, oh, oh god damn it, so I just start, like, running past everybody, cause, I'm getting that damn Pikachu thing, <laughs> yes! <laughs> or you know what? Uh, our uh, the store I went to for the amiibo, uh, like what was the what was the most recent wave? Oh, uh, the wave one. Four? Yeah, wave four with like Ness Charizard. Yeah, uh, for wave it. four, I mean they they <coughs> handed out like little tickets that get they give you a number, so like uh, they knew who to serve first, pretty much. I can't believe they didn't do that if there was like a line. Yeah, it's. Uh, dude, I just really wish. I mean, I, I don't even think they're available for pre-order anymore. Like, at least not in my store or my company. Mm -hmm. Voice crack. I need some water. Um, let's but, go to the next yeah. topic. Yeah, let's just go to the next topic because Amiibos, you know, people have heard enough about them. Yeah. Uh, I want to oh, talk about... I have something what? I want to talk about. What's up? Uh, let's talk about how, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the Smash, uh, DLC, like, how they decided to announce all that, like, on a completely separate day for me three. Oh, josh said it the best i'm um, rio ko'd the eShop. 
he pretty much did. I, I actually, I forgot about, like, how hard it was, like, to get the DLC because there's just so much traffic. Ugh, that's what they get for, like, releasing three characters on the same day. Oh, to be fair, they're, they're probably making bank right now on all of them. They, they must, well, I, I would imagine, like, they, like, maybe they sold them all, and now, since everyone's got it, they just stopped. Nah, nah, it can't be that. I'm sure there's still people buying it today. Yeah. Um, Ryu was a really... Even when I play Ryu, I still can't believe he's in the game. Yeah, he plays a... He's one of the more unique characters, too. He can do combos. Yeah. <laughs> so, unlike... Like, that's... That's not something you see often in Smash, the combos. Like, the most combo you can do in Smash is, like, you can down throw someone into an up, an up air. <laughs> that's, yeah, like, the much. best combo you can do. <laughs> Uh, but Ryu can literally just like do light punch, light punch, light punch, light punch into like a spinning kick. Yeah, it's really cool. Like mm -hmm. I, his addition, like everything about him. There's like so much detail. Like the fact that he has like you know the focus attack and you can dash out of it. You can he dash has the, out the, of it. The, he has the donkey kick from um, Third Strike. It, yeah. When you do, when you perfect shield, he does the parry like animation from Third Strike. When he gets mm -hmm. knocked in the air, he has like his like KO animation from Street Fighter Two. We you actually hit people, it has a sound effect from Street Fighter 2. There's just so much love and care, and it's fucking awesome. I, I, I can tell it. you, like, uh, Sakurai once said, like, he, does, he wouldn't consider, like, Smash a real fighting game until Ryu was added. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Sakurai also has a history with uh, Street Fighter, and he often talked about, like, how in his younger days, like, he would go to Street Fighter tournaments and just, like, practice up the <coughs> characters and compete. So I, I literally do think he has, like, quite the love for the Street Fighter franchise. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, I, I wonder who asked who in this scenario. Like, did Capcom approach them, or did, oh, um... Oh, no, it, it had to have been Sakurai going to them. Yeah. At least, that's what I... What's that in the background? Is someone dying? Is someone dead? Uh, no. Just, just um, people coughing in the background. Okay. I uh, just, I mute my... I'm gonna mute my mic when that happens, because it's actually getting really annoying. Okay. Um... Hopefully it's when you're talking. God but, damn um, it! <laughs> it's fine. It, it's it's I can barely hear it, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah. Um. Uh. It, it, I think it was kind of weird that like. Do you think they should have announced all that Street Fighter? Uh, I mean, all that Smash DLC on the E3 Direct. I honestly think it would have been better if they just announced it at the E3 Direct. It just um didn't. I mean, I understand why they want to talk about what's coming, what's new. They want to talk about games, mm -hmm. like you know, physical games you can go out and buy. But um, I think they, that kind of like what, what's what that ended up hurting them more than helping. Um, even though people are just being kind of big babies, uh, me included. <laughs> um, I don't know. I would at least like more Smash News. Not like so much as like another character reveal, but like maybe like you know update on how the um, the polls going on the on Smash Bros website. That would have been interesting, but um, uh, I'm pretty sure Goku's winning. <laughs> yeah. I hope not. God damn it. I'm pretty sure Sakurai is keen on just having video game characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, honestly, I, I, I'm kind of happy that they didn't uh, put all the Smash... Uh, they didn't put the Smash Direct in the E3 Direct. Because I'm kind of happy it was its own separate thing. I, I don't really know if I would want to know a lot about DLC coming in an E3 Direct. Uh, you know... Uh, I can see your point there, but... Yeah. I don't know. I I still like the continued support they've been given. Mar they're giving Mario Kart Eight and Smash because I mean those are the two best sellers on the system right now. Yeah. <laughs> um. But aside from that, I'm like looking forward to the future. Like maybe in like one of the directs in the future, they'll have like you know the same opening with like you know the Smash Bros logo, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, what else was even announced? Uh, and. Uh, the E3 Direct. Not a lot. Just a lot of stuff coming out soon. Yeah, um, stuff like, I mean, they did talk about the new Animal Crossing. Uh, oh, yeah, a lot of people were butthurt about that. Yeah, they were. Um, I, I remember hearing somewhere that that was free, but then I remember healing, hearing, like, you can pay retail price to get this. So I don't know if that's free or not anymore. I'm really confused. Yeah, I saw, it's, that's why I was confused when you were telling me about that. I'm like, really? Because, um, they have a bundle where it's like, it comes with two Amiibo. I'm not sure how it I don't know, maybe I'll look into it tomorrow at work, if it's, like, in our, like, system or whatever, but it, it's it's weird what they're doing with it. Um, yeah, this is not, well, honestly, 
I, I, I didn't. I was one of the guys that was thinking like I don't really think they should like start putting actual Animal Crossing games on the home consoles anymore. It just lends itself so much better to portable systems. Oh yeah, definitely. But now, like, when they brought it to the Wii U and they did like this party game thing, and you like you can only play it with Amiibo. I don't know if that's what I would have wanted instead. I mean, I did want something different, but I didn't want like you have to have Amiibo to play this. I mean, we'll see. I don't think... I think Nintendo's pretty good about, most of the time about their franchises. And Animal Crossing's mm-hmm. been getting really big in recent years. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. Um, I, I, I again, really I'm not, not, I'm, not big of, I, I'm not the big of an Animal Crossing fan, so I, I really don't have much of an opinion on either game. Yeah. Um, um, I actually saw gameplay, and it does look pretty fun. Uh, it, it, it essentially is, it's kind of like, it's kind of what we always wanted for Mario Party. Like, you're not all in the same cart. You can, like, go do what you want. Which and, I really, yeah, I wish they kept that for, I wish they'd done that for 10. Mm-hmm. Um, and it kind of plays like Monopoly, and there's, like, uh, like, there's special events that could happen. Like, the turnip uh, lady shows up, and you can, like, buy her turnips. And then it has, like, this stock market thing where, like, on certain days you can sell your turnips at, like, a higher price that you have. And it, it looks very, uh, uh, it looks like it's taking in a lot of aspects from all sorts of games uh, to make a really fun board game. But, man, I really hope it's free to download and you just have to have an Amiibo to play it. Because that would just be a, a much better sell for people. It honestly would be. Yeah. Um, I mean, just like, 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 like it would be. Just, you just download the game for free and it gives a reason to buy all the Amiibo to actually play the game. It so it'd be, it'd be similar to um, how Skylanders and Disney Infinity work. Oh, speaking of that, we should jump over to uh, Warhammer Bowser and uh, uh, do we, do whatever. We really, do we really have to? I mean, <laughs> are, are you not happy about that? No, not. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not mad about it, but I really don't care either way. I don't play Skylanders, and I'm, I'm not going to buy a starter pack just for like a cool looking Donkey Kong. I don't know. I like when they announced like <coughs> Warhammer Bowser and his like transformation is Magna Bowser, and I was like. God, I, I really want this, but I don't want to buy Skylanders to play it. <laughs> um, I told you, just buy the figure separately on eBay for like, like eighty dollars, probably or something. Eighty dollars, kind of... man, that's I just, I just I, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm guessing. That point. That's what I'm yeah. guessing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I was like, I was like, who would I play this with? And I do have a little cousin that loves Skylander, so I could play it with him. Why? Uh... My brother dropped all Skylanders about two years ago. Um, he's all about Amiibo now. Um, Amiibo? What does he play with Amiibo? Does he just do like make the Smash Amiibo fight each other? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Um, that's what they're for. And um, yeah, um, he dropped. He dropped. He he did, tried Disney Infinity for like one year. He he didn't even get 2.0, which I was actually kind of bummed about because I'm like, are you sure you don't want to get it? I I want to play that Guardians playset. <laughs> 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 I'm not, I don't want to buy it, but if you buy it, hey, look at this. I want to be R2. Get back into it. R2, G2, man. Can That's pretty much R2? how I am now. Like, fucking come on, do it. <laughs> buy it. <laughs> Can he even be R2, D2 in Disney Infinity? Yeah, I wouldn't. I prob- maybe. I I think it, he's like one more iconic characters. It sounds like it sucked to play as him. It'd be the best. No, he couldn't do anything. He would just, just get move shot. around. And, no, you, he, he has his little taser. I, I remember you could play as him in, a, like, a, the Lego Star Wars games, and, like, you'd just get, like, you couldn't do anything. You'd just get shot, and all, all you could do is, like, access terminals and, like, open doors. It sucked. Yeah, no, it was the best. He had the, he had the best gameplay. He could hover. That was kind of cool. Dude, don't let Crack Cam hold a candle to R2-D2's gameplay. No. <laughs> uh, what else is there to talk about? Is there anything we're... Leave me off the list. Um, I want to talk about... There, there was some stuff at the Sony conference. I was um, really, really happy and so surprised about Shenmue 3. Oh, yeah. Um, you should... Um, I, I don't really know anything about Shenmue or why it gets so much love. Like, I watched some gameplay and all I remember is the terrible English dub. <laughs> it's honestly a scenario like Earthbound where it's more about... The game is so unique, it has its own experience, as opposed to, it's like the definitive version of like a beat-em-up, or like, you know, an RPG or something. Mm-hmm. It was a really unique game, it had a really good story, and like, it just, it never finished, because the, the first, second one was doomed from the start, like, the Dreamcast was, you know, Sega wasn't, it was like, like you know, they weren't in the hardware market anymore. 
Yeah. Um. So it came out in like Japan and Europe, I believe, on um the Dreamcast, but the American version was on the Xbox, and um wow. people who bought an Xbox were like, "The fuck's this anime bullshit?" And they just <laughs> bought Halo. Um. Uh-huh. And then, you know, the original Shamu, it was always a thing where people were arg- mad because it wasn't so much... They, they, they thought, like, the, the game wasn't... It was something new at the time. It, like, it, How it, does it, it play? That's what I'm wondering for the most part. It, I guess you can say it's RPG-esque where you walk around a town and you talk to people. Um, there, was, like, there, w- there was, like, one of the first games to ever introduce quick-time events because it's, it's, a, it's a cinematic experience, but not much... Like, not like... um heavy rain or anything like that. God, <laughs> nothing. Come nothing. Off, cut off your fingers and walk through a crowd and be like, what, what, what was he? He was like, Jonah, John, John what, what jo- was the name? Jason, of of- Jason. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> Jason. Um, honestly though, I really hope because like, the game's doing so well on Kickstarter, I got funded in eight hours and, the, and now that Sony's apparently also yeah, helped I was amazed it. to see like how much support that got. I was like, how do I not know about, well, I knew about... Is this the game where you walk around and, and your guy's like, I'm looking for a sailor. Have you yeah, seen a sailor? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's like the only thing I know about the game. It's because the voice acting was so, <laughs> like, bland. Um, I'm, I'm glad though the Kickstarter is doing so well. I'm glad mm-hmm. Sony's, like, officially going to be funding it. I hope um, from, like, the... the um, what it looks like to be a success from, like, the announcement of this, maybe, like, they'll do, like, HD ports of Shamu 1 and 2 so people can actually catch up and play it. Because yeah. um, the, the prices of the game skyrocketed online after the um, Shamu 3 announcement. Wow. It's not... You can't, like, get it anywhere digitally? No. That was, like, one of those few games Sega didn't release digitally. Because they, they never had faith. Because the only reference of sales was Shamu 2. And it bombed. Um, but, you know, it's still a Sega franchise. So, I mean, it's it's all up to them, honestly, from what it sounds of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but who knows? Maybe we'll see in the future. Um, they're trying to go, like, they're leaning more towards digital, so maybe we'll see something in the future. Alright, let's jump to something else that I actually know about. Uh, let's talk about Street Fighter Five and how it's going to be <laughs> really Street fucking Fighter good. Alright, um, uh, I can't really talk about it that much, because I'm not that much of a Street Fighter fan as much as you, anyway. But, M. Bison um, looks really badass in it. He's got white hair, and Zangief looks like he's not going to be in it. <laughs> he's going to be replaced with Birdie, like some <laughs> fat biker with chains. <laughs> Birdie, um... I was originally put off by Birdie when they like he leaked. I was like, "Ah, oh, fucking Birdie!" Because he he's, he's my least favorite grappler in the, in the series, but his redesign's pretty like you know, it's pretty funny. Um, his attacks look fun. Like his, like his one super is uh, like um he gets you like in his chains and he just jumps ropes with you and you keep smacking the ground when he just, oh, just keeps going over you. Mm-hmm. Doesn't then, he eat a donut or something? Yeah, he eats a donut and then he eats a bigger donut. <laughs> <laughs> like his victory animations, like him pulling a giant donut, like like a human sized donut out of nowhere, and just like about to eat it. Is but he American? He's British. Okay, uh, I was about to say, is this like stereotyping our culture? Because <laughs> <No. laughs> I think Rufus is American, right? Rufus is American, but so oh, is Ken. God. Ken's American. Uh, we're, all Gile, rip, we're, we're all ripped. We're all ripped. A guy's more of a stereotype, in my opinion. <laughs> Military. American flag tattoos on both arms. Just, like, uh, camouflage <coughs> pants. Blonde. Uh, and he has, like, a line where he's like, go home, be a family man. Yeah, yeah. At least Rufus is like, I think Rufus is like, more of a weeaboo. He's like, I love kung fu movies. I'm gonna go practice kung fu. <laughs> Yeah, he is. Uh, uh, I, I'll just say it's looking good so far. It's um, looking really good. Um, mm-hmm. There's going to be a beta for it July 23rd to the 8th if you um, pre order it. And which this I got. is one of the few games where uh, like last gen isn't going to hold it back. Yeah, all you cavemen out there. Upgrade mm-hmm. already. <laughs> um, I'm super looking forward to that. I hope we see like you know characters like Alex and Zangief come back and Dan. Um, I mean, some new characters as well. It'll be really cool. Uh, but... All the characters you care about. The, th- the three characters you listed are like your three favorite. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Final Fantasy VII remake. Um, I never played the original really. But Same my, here. But um, honestly, I I will only care about it if it's turn based because I really miss turn based JRPGs. If it's like 
if it plays like Final Fantasy thirteen, the thirteen series, I won't I, I won't care about it at all. I, I can't really um I, I would defend thirteen. I've never played it. There's a guy I respect online that's played thirteen and has, has enjoyed it. So I I can't really say thirteen's gameplay is that bad because I haven't experienced it myself. And I, I would try it out, but I'm just not interested in the Final Fantasy series at all, sadly. I've just never gotten into it. Um, I, I think the, the closest thing to a Final Fantasy game I've played is Kingdom Hearts 2. And that's only because there's like a bunch <laughs> yeah. of Final Fantasy characters in it. Yeah, I mean, Final Fantasy, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of it either. I mean, I've only really enjoyed... um. 3, which is 6 on Super Nintendo, and then 3 on DS, which is the actual 3. Mm-hmm. I played 10, some. Did not like 13 at all. Um, Wait, I, I actually, I did watch a full playthrough of, uh, I, I don't remember which one this was, but it was it had like underwater soccer in it. And that was 10. That was, oh yeah, I watched <clears throat> all of that in a Let's Play. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but I know everything there is about that Final Fantasy game. <laughs> Uh, um, that one was hit or miss with a lot of people. Uh, it was honestly mm-hmm. like you know pretty. I, it was you know it was okay. It for was me. fine in my opinion. Yeah. It was like uh, voice acting. There was a lot of voice acting. In yeah, yeah. That. The uh, main character was that like, one of the first games with voice acting for Final Fantasy. No, um, well, yeah, one of the first because it was the first Final Fantasy on PS2. So oh. it was it was it was big for that reason alone. I remember they made a sequel to Ten. And yeah, it, it was, was called Ten Two, and my God, like that pretty much became what like Fire Emblem Cross Shemigami Tensei is, where it just like it starts out and you're like you crash this like pop dance uh, set going on. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, Ten Two is pretty. Yeah. It, it's so like it's kind of like super girly, and there's just like there's like no, it a, is super girly, Tommy. It is. It's, it's, it is super girly. There's like there's an entire cutscene that's just like based on them in bikinis, like splashing each other and talking about relationships. <laughs> oh God, mm, it was really weird. Not the sequel, I'm sure people wanted. Not at all. Uh, <laughs> um, after that though, it wasn't really shown at E3 too much, but um, I'm really excited for Dragon Quest Heroes. Oh, uh, is that? Is that, uh, what, what, what is that coming out for? Is uh, that... PS4 only in America. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that, uh, what, what is that? Is that online? Uh, I don't believe it is, but it's pretty much like, they, they were saying it's a, it's a warriors S game, but it's more like, R, it's, it has a lot of RPG focus in it. Oh, oh, I, I've seen this. Yeah. I just thought, I thought it was just, uh, Dragon Quest Warriors. I didn't know it was, uh, I didn't know it had a different title. With yeah. Dragon Quest it. Heroes. Yeah. All right. Um, really looking forward to that one as well. Well, you're only looking forward to it because it looks like Goku's in it. No, well, I mean, I'll, I, I, I do love Toriyama's art style. It's my favorite art style. I know, and everyone looks like Goku. No, they don't. They do too. <laughs> they all have Goku's eyes. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the Microsoft conference wasn't much there. I was too stoked for it. Rare replay. Rare replay is pretty oh, much wait, it, wait, yeah. no, no, we gotta go back to Sony. We gotta talk about, um, Last Guardian. Oh, um... I'm not excited for it, but good for all the people who are. <laughs> That's all you got to say about it? Yep. <laughs> you you never played, like, Shadow of the Colossus or uh, Eco or whatever that game was called, have you? Nope. Yeah, I played them. They're, they're like, truly, like, uh, they're very similar in how, like, you just, like, explore this, like, empty world and you're, like, all alone and feel isolated and very, like, silent story-based uh, games. Very interesting. I enjoyed them both. I, I think they... I, I didn't... I, I didn't think they controlled very well, but they, they were still fun to play. Uh, I hope this game can learn a lot from the other's mistakes uh, with The Last Guardian. I mean, I, I, I mean I'll think about getting it, because it, it does look like one of those games like we were talking about, like how it's... It's a giant Nuji, Matt. You get to have a giant <laughs> Nuji. Isn't that what you always wanted? A giant Nuji Chihuahua <laughs> Dragon Griffin thing. I think Nuji would just eat you, because she's dumb. <laughs> Like, with that scene when I, I, I'd be falling down and, the, like, the bird thing catches it, Nuji would, like, go to catch me and she'd miss. <laughs> she'd be like, oh, man. She wouldn't catch you with her tail. Does Nuji even have a tail? Yeah, she has a long-ass tail. Oh, uh, she wouldn't be smart enough to do that. Neither would my dog. Honestly, she'd be like, Mickey, what's going on? And she'd, like, wag her tail and smack me even further. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh god, that dog, like, just watching that, is like, if this was like me and Crypto in that situation, like, I, Crypto brings in, like, dead frogs all the time, like, I can just imagine, like, Crypto would just pick me up and, like, shake me around and throw me off a cliff while I just, like, bleed out as I fall to my death. <laughs> Bleeding out as you're falling, that's gotta be the I worst. Know. And he would just, like, be jumping around panting and having fun and I'd die. Um... But, like, for the yeah, like Microsoft Rare Replay, I'm really excited for, only because um, Banjo 1 and 2 and Conquer in the same package. Um, Perfect yeah. Dark's neat. Uh, Snake Rattle and Roll. Battletoads. Uh, no Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> yeah, for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's something I wanted to say about this. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I, I've been recording uh, Banjo and Kazooie off the 360, off the Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah. And whenever I record off of it, the recordings always get messed up. I'm about to upload a video soon that shows, like, how terrible it looks when I record. Like, pretty much the audio gets desynced, and, like, the, the video keeps skipping ahead. It just, it looks terrible. Well, what's, what's, what's great about the Rare the rare Replay Collection is that um, all the games are in the original 4x3, um, you know, like, ratio. And they just have, like, arcade borders around them, so it's not, like, really stretched good, out. Though? Yeah, it's good for me. Because uh, if, I mean, if you're not going like, to go all the way to make an HD version, just don't do that. Don't make a shitty HD version. They didn't really make an HD version with the arcaded version, right? They, no, I, they, got, they, they just, just stretched stretch out it? the... They just stretched yeah. it out. And it was yeah, I guess terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you, and, and you know, um, I, I'm pretty much going to wait for the uh, Rare Replay to come out. And then I'm going to try recording off that to see if the audio doesn't desync and if the video stays just intact and proper. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That's what I'm gonna be. I I, I really want to do like um a playthrough of. Con well, actually, you know, what? I I can't do a playthrough off Conquer because Conquer is such a dialogue heavy game. I know. Me, Matt, I I just uh I did some footage of Conquer, which I'm not gonna use because my friend fell asleep. Like we did it like 1 a.m. and like <laughs> not not anything against Conquer, but there's a lot of talking in that. And my friend was super tired, and he just like fell asleep during like one of the cutscenes, and uh, so I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I'll do Conquer later, I guess. I, I I don't know if I'm gonna do the Conquer on Rare Replay or if I'm gonna do Live and Reload it now. You know, I was surprised they didn't include yeah. Live and Reloaded on the disc. Um, um, I understand. I guess I understand why because it's a remake and the N64 version's like uncensored and overall just um yeah. better in my opinion. But and here's the cool thing: <clears throat> an actual N64 version or copy of Conquer nowadays goes for like ninety bucks, and Rare Replay is just thirty dollars. That is really good. Yeah. Um, other than that, um, Gears of War Remastered, or, you know, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. I don't have anything to say about that. I've never really liked the Gears of War franchise. I, I really, I, I was heavily into the first one. I kind of dropped off after two. Mm -hmm. Got three. Um, didn't dig it. Uh, didn't even try Judgment. Gears of War 4, um, I will say they, um, I like how the characters actually look, um, human. They, they don't have, <laughs> they like... they not look human in all the other ones? Well, I mean, they had no necks. They're just like really muscle, like kind of dudes. Um, and this one, they actually look like human beings. It looks like I I can look at those characters and be like, you know what? If I tried hard, I could probably have a body like that. But like, it's like I can never have not a neck. <laughs> just all muscle. There is no neck, just muscle. And then um, not really exclusive to Microsoft or Sony or anything, but the new Transformers game made by Platinum Studios. I'm um, really looking forward to. I hope because... they had more than a week to make it. Yeah, me too. I really hope they have. Like, I hope it's not another core situation where the game's fun after you beat it three times. Um, <laughs> I'd say a core was a bad game, but it also wasn't a good game. But then again, that the fact that that's like Platinum Games, like you know, um, rush out game, that that gives me that gives me you know, that makes me feel comfortable knowing you know if they have like time and effort for this one, it'll be fun. Yes. Is there anything else we should talk about? Because I think we've, like, at the yeah, we're like a, right about an hour and three minutes. Um, nothing really much about the Square Conference I wanted to talk about. You know, Kingdom Hearts three looks good. Uh, Fallout four looks great. I, I don't know if you're into it. I was thinking about picking it up. Yeah, uh, my, my sister was getting really getting into the series, so I might give it a she shot. Is? Oh, that's yeah, cool. you finally got a game you two can play it together again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I, I just really. love Fallout because you can just like walk in a direction and you just like see all these interesting uh, like crazy people and like all these really cool tech like I, I think one of my favorite things i experienced in fallout 3 was like i i just saw like 
this uh, lady called the Antagonist and this, like, metal man called, like, Robonator or so I don't remember his name. <laughs> and, like, they just started fighting each other with, like, a bunch of robots and she had, like, mutant ants that, like, just sat at each other. And I was like, what the hell is this? And then I talked to the townsfolks and they're like, my god. Like, at, those two just keep fighting each other and the battles get bigger and bigger. Our town <laughs> is going to be destroyed. Please kill them. <laughs> I was just like, this is... Oh, <laughs> uh, it was awesome. I'll probably end up getting um Fallout yeah. Four because like in, like in high school, all my buddies were like talking about how good three was, but again, you know, I wasn't was, into yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Um, but four looks like you know, I honestly the one of the biggest draws for Fallout Four is how visually appealing it looks. How it actually has like you know colors and um, kind of like almost kind of like in some areas of the game when like nature does take over after like you know humanity's kind of like you know getting shit on yeah um it's, it's all interesting so i'll probably i, I might give it a shot um yeah. i would say something about batman but that comes out like in four days so it, it does i always forget like how soon that's coming out yeah i can't wait to play I still that need to pre-order it oh, you do <laughs> yeah I, I was debating on the ps4 or xbox one version but i'm gonna go ps4 just because they got me by the balls because of the scarecrow dlc mm -hmm. like, yeah and you get to be a um, uh, 66 batman Right? I don't care. <laughs> I do. That's one of my favorite Batmans. Uh, right. I, I think we should end just like yeah, uh, just what we here. thought. Not, 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 no, let's yeah, end it on... No, we're, we're going to end it on what we just thought of Nintendo's presence at E3 in general. Uh, uh, it, it was alright. Just yeah. It was just so-so for me. Because they, they, all they did was just talk about stuff that was already out. And we didn't get many new trailers... I do think a lot of people are just being, like, over-exaggerating, saying, like, this is terrible. I watched Metroid die today. <laughs> like, Josh and Jalen. <laughs> and you. <laughs> okay. I am not as bad as Josh when it comes to, like, being a big baby about stuff. Well, I Jaylen, love Josh, but, like, oh my god. Jalen said, uh, I love I love all your guys' quotes. Like, Josh said, I watched Metroid die today. And Jalen said, I went in expecting nothing and somehow got less. <laughs> yeah. And then you're going to, like, this was pathetic. They didn't show anything new. I already knew about all this. I, I think I actually wanted to say, like... Yo. I'm already sold on Mario Maker. Shut up about it already. <laughs> yeah, that's essentially what you said. Like, I was already sold on all this shit. Stop talking about it. <laughs> uh, and I agree with you there, but, I mean, uh, yeah, they just didn't show anything new, so it just, it, it definitely didn't win E3 this year. I think Sony probably won E3. I mean, the, everything was pretty, pretty or what? I forgot to talk about Battlefront. Did you see how cool it looked? I didn't see any gameplay yet. You didn't see any gameplay? I, I didn't see any gameplay. I have, the, I have the game preserved, but I haven't seen any gameplay. Matt, you have to look at that Hoth gameplay, because it looks awesome. And they ended on, like, uh, Luke and Darth Vader uh, uh, clashing their lightsabers together. And it looks like there's going to be... I, I remember, like, uh, Jedi combat in, <laughs> in the old Star Wars Battlefronts games were just, like, whoever, like, hit the other person first would win, essentially. <laughs> But it, it looks like they might be doing something a little bit different where, like, there's a clash system with lightsabers now. And also, just... Oh, God, there's so much to talk about in that. Like, like walkers can do airstrikes now, and... Uh, oh, I, I don't want to get into it. I'll never stop, but... <laughs> hey, we can, maybe, maybe we can do videos on that for online when it comes out. Maybe. But we say that about a lot of things. Yeah, we also record a lot of things. You don't upload them. <laughs> like what? Bayonetta and Dragon Ball and that other podcast you didn't upload. I forgot I did Bayonetta. <laughs> yeah, we did do Bayonetta. Well, those weren't channel worthy. They were just like, they're just fun memories I can listen back to. Put in a time <laughs> capsule. Like, look, look how dumb Matt was. Look how bad he's at Bayonetta too. <laughs> <laughs> I carried us in that game. <laughs> I, I should do a video where I only play missions as Jocko in Xenoverse. You should... We, we should, we should do Xenoverse stuff. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, base want it off here, then? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. We love you. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, I'm Matt. Oh, wait. Yeah, you already knew that. I wanted to introduce myself. Did okay. you say you were Matt at the beginning? No.
I don't think I did. I'll just put it in the description. Yeah, whatever. They'll figure it out. They'll they'll all hate me. All right. Uh, Bye. You're not Chris. (laughs) I hate you. All right.